Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. My girlfriend thinks I'm gay. Last night my girlfriend hinted at that she thinks I'm gay, because we haven't had sex since our relationship started, less than a month. She knows that I'm still a virgin and she's not. She mentioned numerous times that she wants to make love with me, but the two opportunities we had I just got scared and pulled off. You know the very first time is very scary since you don't know what will happen, is she gonna like it, are you gonna get hard or not because of anxiety etc. But the shit with me being gay just came out of the blue and hit me like a train. I was like WTF. voice how nervous you are. That's honestly a dick move on her part to assume you're gay because you're nervous. There's nothing wrong with waiting longer than a month to become sexually active with a partner. Think about it like this, because you've chosen not to have sex for a month with someone you're dating, she's judging you and implying you're something you aren't. My now wife got offended when I hadn't made a sexual move on her within the first month. I wasn't a virgin and she was. For me, I wanted to show her that I respected her comfort and that I really loved her as a person and saw a future with her rather than just trying to bang. But for her, who had often run into guys who did nothing but that, it made her feel unattractive that I didn't try harder to get her in bed sooner. Just understand that this 100% has more to do with her insecurities than anything you did wrong, and that this is a sign that she likes you and really wants the D. I've dated girls before I had sex and never lost it with them because it wasn't the time. I also dated a girl after having sex, and she hadn't, and I waited two months for her to know I actually liked her and enjoyed spending time with her before having sex. Also she talked to me and told me she was ready so it worked out. End of the day, it's no rush, and if she's pressuring you, it might not be the one to lose it to, unless you don't really care. Also, the first few times is never good. So don't worry, no one judges you anyways. I think a large part of it is the problematic culture of men who do want to fuck immediately on the first date, which in my experience has been the overwhelming majority. I've maybe dated one guy who hasn't tried very hard to sleep with me on a first date. To suddenly have a guy not actively wanting to sleep with her at all for over a month must make her feel so insecure and wonder what if he's not attracted to her, or as if there is something wrong with her that he doesn't want her. So basically yeah, the majority of men have screw society up for women and the minority of men who aren't assholes. To her, the idea of you being gay is a lot less offensive and scary than the idea of you not wanting her, so this is a defense mechanism. Have a proper conversation about it and tell each other your concerns. How do I, 19M, keep myself from getting too attached to someone I'm just talking to? I honestly hate this culture of casual dating. Everyone says I should just have fun with it and not take it too seriously but when I meet someone I really like all I wanted to be able to make them mine. This is a very confusing feeling for me because up until the very end of my last relationship I was never like this. I was able to just let people go and move on. Even in the relationship I never left like I absolutely needed needed her, it was healthy and I enjoyed it. But now I feel like these people I meet are a complete part of my life and I'd be losing something if I let them go. I really don't want to come off as clingy if they start to pull back from talking to me but I also don't want them to think that I've lost interest my intentionally waiting to respond to them. I guess what I'm asking is how do I get out of this mindset? Be honest. Say you're looking for a monogamous relationship where we get know each other. And then raise the issue again if slash when you really like someone, hey, I really like you, are you willing for it to just be us? One thing you should immediately do is stop thinking of far off futures with that person. Just think about the next date. Imagining them as your partner, being in love, and going on trips is confounding your emotional center. You're essentially producing a version of them in your head which doesn't exist. Just focus on the next date and getting to know the person instead of putting the cart before the horse. 
maybe you don't have to get out of this mindset, and instead look for someone with the same mindset smile. To me it sounds like you would prefer a more serious relationship over casual dating or hookups. There are plenty of people out there who feel the same. I think you're low-key stressed out about something personal, not necessarily to do with dating. I get into this very focused mindset with potential partners sometimes, and it's a bit of a sign that I need to take care of myself and take a step back. It doesn't happen when I'm in a good place mentally. Someone else aced that boyfriend application who the funk knows. Casual dating is awesome. Everyone keep looking for upgrades. My, 18 meters, parents are trying to convince me to come home because I left to live with my girlfriend, 30F. So I'll try to keep this short. So I turned 18 fairly recently, in January, and as soon as I did I met this woman on an app for roommates. She's older, 30, and we took time getting to know each other. My relationship with my parents got fucked up. In September they found out that I was sexually active and practically banned me from ever going out. Whenever I went to work, one of them would actually sit there and wait until I got off. After I got so fed up, I posted complaints about them on social media and my dad took my phone and smashed it because he paid for it. I bought another one but yeah. Anyways I wanted to move out instantly so after my 18th birthday and I started talking to this woman, we actually started dating. We did not hang out anytime during the lockdown, after June, lockdown restrictions in Texas eased up. I packed my things immediately, took everything I needed from my parents like my hurry certificate, and I left. Me and her already discussed things like bills, and rent, I make $11.50 50 an hour as a dog groomer which isn't really bad. My parents are very unhappy with this. I did not tell them she was 30 and I did not tell them that we started dating before I moved in with her. My parents blow up my phone on a daily basis asking me to come home. They keep telling me that my girlfriend is grooming me and that it's not right to move in it's somebody you barely know and have barely been dating. I told them I understand your concerns but I don't want to live with you guys ever, like ever again. My mom told me that they're not going to stop trying to bring me home because the woman I'm living with is sketchy. I blocked both of their numbers temporarily. I'm not exactly sure why they're doing this, honestly. They were all my house my rules they didn't give me an ounce of freedom and they treated me like a 13 year old. But now that I am out of the house, they want me back in. It's unfair to me and it's unfair that they're trying to make my girlfriend look like a predator when in actuality, they just want to control me again. It's unfair that they're trying to make my girlfriend look like a predator. To be honest, your girlfriend is the one making herself look like a predator. Number 30 year old woman in her right mind would have an 18 year old boyfriend. Sit down and talk with your parents. Meet someplace outside their house, maybe a restaurant with outdoor seating. This way they can't cause a scene during the conversation and it won't get too heated. I understand their concerns. As a 29 year old woman I wouldn't be interested in dating an 18 year old. I would not cut off your parents just yet. Don't get her pregnant. Whether or not she is good for you remains to be seen, but your parents sound worse. Just whatever you do, don't get her pregnant. You seem to have jumped from one bad housing situation, your controlling parents, to another worse situation. An 18 year old and a 30 year old are in very different stages in life. If it helps, think about this with the genders flipped. This sets off more red flags than a Russian parade. Your parents should be concerned. All of that aside, moving back in with your parents also seems like a bad move. Go back on your roommate's site, find a house with some guys that are also in the 18 to 22 year stage in life. Also, look into going to college or trade school. 